Hey, ladies. It is so, um, I'm so excited about this. Um, I'm just going to pop in here um, and leave this quick video for you guys to watch. A couple of things. I know a couple of you are brand new challengers and the rest of us are excited and want to welcome you. Um, this is the Love Yourself Challenge for February. So it's going to be another 30-day challenge. We um, are going to have a couple different aspects of it. And so this is why I wanted to make the video because it's changing up a little bit for those of you who were in the health bit last month. This is going to have just a little bit of a, uh, an added focus, I guess you can say. And so I just wanted to introduce you guys to it before I start putting in the posts um, that are going to be daily challenges and different ways that we are going to all work on loving ourselves a little bit better and a little bit more um, and kind of changing the way that we think about ourselves. And I um, I'm really excited about this. So a couple of things that I want you to keep in mind for all of you, please, please remember that if you are only committed part way, that you are only going to make progress part way. If you only commit to working out, you will have improved strength. And in some ways you will see improvement in your body. But if you will do the fitness part of it and your nutrition and your Shakeology all together and commit to it 100%, you will see an incredible change um, and far more than you will if you only commit to one part um, or another. It is this, the, the reason that this works, and I, I have experienced it for myself, is that it, it is the perfect combination. The eating plan is meant to be done um, 100%. And I know that it's sometimes it's hard to buy into. Um, and if you have questions about it, please let me know. I know I need to post some more, um, some recipes and I'm working on getting some files saved so that I can save them into our challenge group, but I'm happy to help you. Um, but I, you, you've got to commit. And that's part of the reason why I think I want all of us to keep in mind that this is a brand new challenge. So wipe out how what your mindset was in January. If you were on fire in January and 100% committed, keep with it. If you were 75% committed, see if you can push yourself to commit a little bit more to the eating plan. And, you know, and if you were a brand new challenger, honestly, commit 100%. I promise you that if you will, that you will have the best results. I promise. And I've seen it over and over and over again, that if you'll commit completely, you will have amazing results. And I'm not saying to not realize that like you're going to have your cheats because they're worked into the program. They're worked into the plan. You can cheat. Okay. So that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is plan, get your foods ready and plan those things in so that it doesn't off rail you every time and cause you to second guess yourself or what you're doing, okay? Um, so there's that part of it, and I, I just wanted to remind everybody of that. I'm at the stage of my pregnancy where I honestly, like, I want to eat everything. <laughs> and so for me, even though I'm not doing this from a weight loss perspective, I am absolutely keeping my mind on the plan and keeping myself in a maintenance mode because I don't want to gain tons and tons of extra weight, especially here at the end where my babies have a tendency to be really big. So keep in mind, I'm not saying you necessarily have to lose weight or whatever, but it's, it's about following the plan and doing your very best to do that so that you can have whatever result you want. Um, okay, so let's get into just a little bit about the challenge. There are two things that are going to happen each day. One is that I'm going to be posting a daily challenge for this concept of self-love. And I'm going to come right out and say it because I looked at, I've found some really great resources to draw these things from. And I'm going to say that some of them are incredibly, hmm, how do you say, they, they sound silly um, and you're going to feel silly doing them probably unless you've done a lot of personal development stuff and a lot of, you know, mindset work. You're probably going to read the challenge and be like, what the heck? <laughs> please give it a try. I'm going to do them too. I'm going to give you my honest feedback and I want you to do your best to change your mind, literally. And that is going to require you probably to, to do some of these things that are a little bit out of your comfort zone in order to reconnect in a positive way with yourself. So um, like I said, they may seem a little bit kooky or a little bit silly. Try them anyway. Worst thing <laughs> that can happen is nothing and nothing changes and you just move on. Okay. But I do want you to give them a try. So I've got them all in these graphics. And so I'm going to post a graphic early in the day that has your challenge for the day. And I do want you to comment below 
um, the challenge in the comments, how it went, or you can be more specific. I'm obviously it's very personal stuff. So I'm not going to like require you to make, you know, write your answers in the comments below, but I do want you to let me know that you did the challenge. And I also, if you're willing, would love for you guys to share with each other, with us, um, so that we can all learn from each other and realize it's so helpful to know that you're not the only one that feels a certain way. So just keep that in mind because we really never are. There's always somebody who can relate to us in some way or another. Um, so there will be that check-in and I'm going to do that earlier in the day. I'm actually going to um, schedule those out daily so that they will pop up in the morning at some point. And then the second check-in that is going to be the same check-ins that we've been doing through the, through last month and so for the new challengers, that's our daily fitness nutrition check-in and I will ask you questions about your Shakeology or your workout for the day or your favorite meal or there are different questions each day of the week and what it does is it helps us to hone in and really evaluate how we're doing. Um, and so that's going to come a little bit later on in the day. And I want you guys to also answer those questions. So there's a couple of different things that are going to happen. If you commit to the self-love challenge completely and you answer and you comment in the thread each day for the 30 days, I'm going to send you a prize at the end of the month. Um, and with the daily check-ins for the nutrition and food posts that are toward the end of the day, um, if you answer those by midnight that night, um, then you will be qualified to get a prize each week that you do all seven days check-in. Um, and I'm actually so excited. I'm sending out some prizes today and I'm really excited um, because I know some of you have checked in all four weeks last time. And so I'm, I'm getting your prizes in the mail today and I'm <laughs> really excited about it. It is so fun for me to see the progress that you guys have made and to remind you that there is a reward for making those changes. And it's not necessarily about me sending you a little gift in the mail, but it's that you're doing this and you're making those improvements and that somebody else is noticing because I do notice. Um, and I, it makes me so happy to see the positive changes that you guys are making. So with that being said, those are the things that I really want you to keep in mind. Um, comment on each other's posts, on your comments, on your answers to the check-ins. If you see something that you recognize in yourself, you know, share that with somebody because the more we interact with each other and the more that we become a tight knit group, the more success we will have. And I, and I absolutely have just, just seen that. And I already love the interaction that we're getting. And I just feel like, yeah, let's even bump it up a notch. Um, so that's kind of just what I wanted to tell you. I'm going to go ahead and start with our first self-love post. I'll probably post it right after this video. Um, and it might be too late in the day for some of you to do it um, because just I'm a lot of, I'm ahead of you, um, some of you, quite a few hours. But if not, then just try and double up tomorrow. The challenges don't take a long time. The self-love challenges don't take a long time and they're not super duper involved, but they will require you to write some things down. So you'll need a journal. Um, and that's actually, I think day one is to start a journal. So it can be just a notebook you already have no need for it to be anything like crazy or go out and buy a journal. But, um, day one is that you are going to need to start a journal and it's going to just have you write down some things. So it might take you five minutes, but I promise you that it'll be worth it. And if you stick with it for the 30 days that you will see a change in yourself. Um, so I, I'm going to leave this here and if you have any questions, comment below and let me know if there's anything that I didn't make clear or that you're wondering about or that you need. Um, and that, that goes for everybody. And yeah, I'm so excited. And we will talk to you guys soon. Okay, thanks. See ya.